Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpisami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Now guys, let's take a look at the gold market. We uh, didn't prepare the video on Monday because Friday was the holiday and the video that we have prepared for Friday was well at the yesterday as well. So uh, right now market shows some progress and uh, today we see that it mostly is coiling in some uh, range uh, due to the low activity of the market between the holidays and the Christmas and the New Year's session. So probably the major activity will come on the next year. Um, but the, the many analysis uh, and technical analysis as well comes to the same conclusion that, that there are two major levels for the gold market: is 1065, 1060 approximately, and 1085. So 1085 uh, is a resistance. That's not just a weekly, a monthly pivot point from the December is this gold line. But take a look at the contraction chart. You'll see this previous consolidation. And if market will turn back inside of it. And we break this area. This will uh, tell us that uh, we will get the target with a big probability. I mean the double repo target is 11, uh, 10, 11, 20 area. Or even we will we could climb as far as to this area if this will work as the double bottom. But for for that purpose, market needs first to break this area up and to return back inside of this consolidation. From the other point of view, uh, the technical analysis tells that the 1060 is the major le level for the downsides. Market will break it down, then we, we will get another leg to the downside to, the, to 1000 even or even lower. And that is our analysis as well, because the 1060 uh, for us is an validation point for the double ripple buy pattern. Uh, you will see it a bit later. So right now on the daily chart we have the bullish trend. Market holds very well. So the directional uh, the direct double repo pattern uh, is still valid. Right now we we know uh, we have no need to talk on the double repo failure yet. And take a look. Market is forming the flag pattern. It's tight flag consolidation looks bullish. This bullish consolidation usually leads to the upward continuation. Uh, and when the market forms the, the flag consolidation right below some significant support, uh, some resistance area. This increased chance on the on the attempt of the breakout because when the market cons consolidates in some range right below the resistance, it usually uh, in almost every every time leads to attempt of the breakout. That's why I think that the pairing of the bullish flag pattern is the positive sign for us here. Uh, what else we have? So if we'll take a look at the forward time frame chart, we see that finally we've got our second leg of our retracement. Recall what we have discussed in this ABCD. We said that after reversal swing usually, so almost the rule of thumb, market forms ABCD retracement rather than just V-shape retracement. And that has happened. So market has dropped lower right to the weekly pivot support one. We also talked on this level. Market slightly hasn't quite reached the ABCD target. But this is not necessary in, car in current circumstances because market has completed minor 618 extension. So we will, I will show you. So you'll see the 618 target has been completed. So market has hit the minor extension here, and that could be enough because here is the FIP support and the weekly pivot support one. It's not necessary. Market should complete EB equal city. Right now, market is challenging. As you can see, weekly pivot point. So uh, on the current week and right now, we probably will be watching for uh, for this area. So if market will break it to the upside, this will significantly increase the chance that market really will try to continue move higher, because this is simultaneously will be as you can see a resistance of the flag. So market will break it, so it'll be upper breakout, and market should continue move higher. If market will fail here right now. It means it, it, it will not cancel the perspective of the upward action. It just will mean that we could get another leg down here 
some kind of the three drive by will be formed to an area of 1063 1065 so market could make another like uh, swing inside of the flag pattern but this will not cancel the uh, bullish perspective and actually guys we do not care much how deep this retracement will be but because this level is what is important for us and how deep retracement will take here well maybe it will stop here at 1065 but maybe it will be 1063 it's not very important for us because the only level is important is right here this is an validation point of the double repo direct pattern on the daily chart so if market will drop below it and close below it this will be the double repo failure and we, we, we will have to turn to the second stage second scenario of our trading plan is reverse our position with the uh, to the bearish side and probably switch from the long to the short but right now direct double repo buy is still valid market behaves very well so uh, it's very predictable action and very logical so we do not see any uh, doubts and some problems with the current uh, action that we see right now on gold market preferable of course uh, if market will break to the upside right right now this will be just perfect but if we will get another leg down well if it, if it will be the also gradual as here it's normal it's not 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 no problems with it uh, so we will just will get some kind of a free drive buy here and market could turn to the upside um, this will just postpone the possible upward action and again the the major level that we should keep an eye on is this one so uh, that's been said currently if you have the longs you probably could keep it uh, just be careful and watch for possible failure stay on guard it's a possible pattern I mean the double repo uh, if you do not have the longs in this case you for example could wait for a completion of the free drive and that will give you uh, just perfect opportunity for taking the long because the invalidation point the stop will be very close and market if market will fail your loss will be just minimal and you will get the clarity that you should reverse your position uh, that is the attractiveness of this possible free drive pattern so let's keep watching but currently gold markets really very interesting